quiet stillness of dawn, before the first golden rays of the sun stretch across America's sprawling farmland, an extraordinary process begins. Across the vast agricultural regions of California, Arizona, and Florida, farmers are preparing for one of the most impressive feats in modern agriculture, the harvesting of over 40 billion pounds of cantaloupes every year. This is not just farming. It is a precise, carefully orchestrated system that blends traditional knowledge with cutting-edge technology, allowing the United States to dominate global cantaloupe production. Yet, a growing debate continues among farmers and scientists alike. Are modern, technology-driven methods improving the quality of cantaloupes, or is something being lost in the race for high-volume production? Some argue that artificial intelligence, automated irrigation, and scientific indicators have perfected the art of growing cantaloupes, ensuring peak ripeness and consistent quality. Others claim that traditional farming techniques relying on generations of experience, produce superior flavor and texture. The question remains, have we optimized cantaloupe farming, or is there still an untapped secret to growing the perfect melon? Before harvest season arrives, everything starts in the soil. Farmers prepare their fields with powerful machinery, tilling the earth to ensure it is well aerated and rich in nutrients. Organic fertilizers and lime are carefully added to maintain a balanced soil pH, a critical factor in growing healthy, productive cantaloupe plants. To maximize yield and prevent crop loss, farmers form raised beds approximately 20 to 30 centimeters high and 1.5 to 2 meters apart. These beds improve drainage, reduce soil compaction, and create an ideal microclimate for the plants. A thin layer of plastic mulch is placed over the soil to retain moisture, suppress weeds, and regulate temperature. This simple yet effective technique has significantly improved cantaloupe farming, leading to higher production and fewer wasted crops. One of the most popular varieties among commercial growers is the Athena cantaloupe an 85-day hybrid melon known for its sweet, firm flesh and disease resistance. Every plant is monitored from the day it is seeded. Farmers track temperature changes, soil conditions, and even wind patterns to ensure each cantaloupe receives the optimal environment for growth. Gone are the days when farmers relied solely on instinct to determine ripeness. Today, many large-scale farms use AI-powered sensors and satellite imaging to monitor plant health, irrigation levels, and potential disease outbreaks in real time. However, many argue that these scientific advancements have yet to match the intuitive expertise of seasoned farmers who have spent decades working the land. Unlike bananas or avocados, which continue to ripen after being harvested, cantaloupes must be picked at the peak of their ripeness. This means farmers must carefully assess each melon before removing it from the vine. Picking too early results in a bland, underdeveloped flavor, while picking too late can lead to overripe, mushy melons that do not meet market standards. Three key indicators determine when a cantaloupe is ready for harvest. The field spot, a naturally occurring patch on the melon's surface, changes from green to a warm golden yellow as the fruit ripens. The tendril, a curling vine near the stem, shrivels up and falls off when the melon reaches peak sweetness. Finally, the spoon leaf, a small leaf near the stem, dries out completely, signaling that the fruit has reached its full sugar content. Some farmers say they can smell ripeness in the air. As cantaloupes approach their final stage of growth, the fields take on a distinct musky sweet aroma that experienced growers recognize as nature's own signal that harvest time has arrived. 
While some still rely on the thumping or shaking methods to determine ripeness, scientific research confirms that the color, tendril, and spoon leaf method is the most accurate. Once identified as ripe, cantaloupes are carefully rolled to check for uniform coloring and then snapped from the vine. In large-scale operations, this process happens rapidly, with thousands of melons harvested per hour and transported directly to processing facilities. After harvest, cantaloupes are quickly transported to processing facilities, where they undergo a meticulous cleaning and grading process. High-pressure water jets remove dirt, debris, and any potential contaminants, ensuring that each fruit is clean and ready for distribution. Grading is the next step. Each cantaloupe is inspected for size, shape, color, and aroma. In some high-end markets, such as Japan, grading is done manually to ensure absolute perfection. However, in the United States, automated sorting technology now plays a major role in categorizing cantaloupes, using laser imaging and AI analysis to separate melons based on quality standards. Once graded, the best cantaloupes are packaged in protective crates to prevent bruising during transportation. Some are even wrapped individually for premium retailers, to extend shelf life, some cantaloupes are flash-cooled before shipment, locking in their fresh taste and texture. Beyond their incredible taste, cantaloupes are packed with essential nutrients that make them a staple in healthy diets. Cantaloupes are rich in vitamin C, boosting the immune system and reducing inflammation. Their high water content, at nearly 90%, makes them a natural hydrating fruit, perfect for hot summer days. The fiber in cantaloupes promotes healthy digestion, while beta-carotene supports eye health and skin regeneration. With millions of pounds consumed daily, cantaloupes are not only delicious, but also contribute to a well-balanced diet, providing a low-calorie, nutrient-dense snack that fits into a variety of meal plans. As technology reshapes agriculture, the future of cantaloupe farming is evolving. AI-driven precision farming, drought-resistant hybrids, and automated harvesting systems are already being tested across the country. Some scientists predict that vertical farming and hydroponic methods could one day change how melons are grown, reducing land and water usage while increasing yields. Yet, many farmers still believe that the best cantaloupes come from rich, sun-drenched soil, and the experienced hands of those who have mastered this craft for generations. The balance between tradition and technology will continue to shape the industry, but one thing remains certain. Cantaloupes are here to stay as one of America's most beloved fruits. So, what do you think? Do modern farming techniques enhance the quality of cantaloupes, or do traditional methods produce a superior melon? Share your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any exciting content from Farm Marvels.